Blaver 865. If we can get it right as humans, then eternal life on Earth in our natural habitat is justifiable too. Okay. Now, it is our natural habitat. There are seven and a half billion people on planet Earth in 2022, over that, in fact, just a bit over that, who are living in their natural habitat. Earth is a monkey's natural habitat. It's a zebra's natural habitat. It's a slug's natural habitat. It's also a human being's natural habitat. This is our natural habitat. God created Adam and Eve to inhabit planet Earth. The Garden of Eden primarily. To start with anyway. Who knows what it would have been in time. But um, this is our natural habitat. And the intention of Adam and Eve was, the intention was that they would ultimately do the right thing and obey God, not eat the forbidden fruit and partake of the tree of life and live forever. So we know that God's initial and original intention of humankind's humankind was for us to live forever on earth. That was original intention. Why would anything really change? Why would it ever really change? It's changed because of sin and the forbidden fruit, but the intention of God hasn't really changed. God doesn't change, you know, very much. He, he, the plan he makes, he's sort of, it's still theoretically the plan. If we can get it right as humans, then eternal life on earth in our natural habitat is justifiable. If we can get it right as humans. We have to deal with that original sin, as it were, that temptation. Say no to the forbidden fruit, and there's potentially elements of that stuff which is in, a, in our natures, carried on through our bloodlines and things, and through our traditions of casual attitudes. We've got to get over being sinners. We've got to conquer sin and death. We have to sort of get that stuff out of our life. I had it, partake of a tree of life. Of, of a feeling one way or the other I'm living forever. So, you know, we've got to get that stuff out of our nature if we can get it right. And I think we probably can. It's a challenge. It's not necessarily easy. But it's something that a human who feels that they should do what is ultimately the right thing should probably aspire to. If we can get it right as humans, then eternal life on earth is our natural habitat. And it's, it's potentially justifiable with God. It could still be God's intention. Maybe this really is God's intention. That we do the right thing when it comes right down to it. And stop being so slack and casual and easy with each other. Sort of tolerant of all the crappy behaviours. Do the right thing. Do the good things. Do the holy things. Do the righteous things. Do the right thing. We should probably try one way or the other. 